clutch, you're going to need some leather. Alternatively, you can use vinyl fabric or um, a really thick denim would be really cool. A leather punch, which we got at Bunnings for like $10. These tiny grommets. I found these online on Etsy. A template, which is found on our website. You can go ahead and download. I'll leave the link below. I have one template for this little um, card holder, and I also have another one that's for the full size envelope bags, which um, won't print out on a standard A4 paper, so you're going to need to cut them out and stitch them together like I did here. To get started, work with your leather wrong face up so that we can mark the template on the back of the bag. You're going to want to place the template on your leather so that you're making the most out of the material. That way you can make several bags or reuse the fabric for another project. Next, trace around the pattern with Taylor's chalk, or I just used a pen here, and it didn't show up on the finished products because I cut really close to the markings. To cut the leather, use really sharp scissors or an X-Acto blade and cutting mat to get really sharp edges for your bag. Dull scissors will ruin the results of your work. When using an X-Acto blade, I find it really helpful to move the fabric and mat around the table so that I'm cutting in either a downward stroke or horizontal from left to right. If you haven't done so already, pour yourself a glass of wine and pick up where we last left <gasps> off. I have wine. I'm gonna drink wine. Okay, so you can see how this envelope is gonna fit together. The two wings on the left and right are gonna fold underneath the bottom flap and it will all be secured with a grommet. I'm just assembling here and making sure where I place the pen mark will be centered on the bag and will be going through all three layers. I'm going to mark one of the wings here and use it as a guard for the other holes I'm going to punch. Just make sure the hole punch matches the size of the grommet you're using. So now that I have one hole punched, I'm going to lay it over top of the other wing and mark where I need to punch the next hole. Next, place the male end of the grommet down inside the bag and assemble your bag. Once the two wings are secured with the grommets, I'm going to fold the bottom flap over top and mark where I'm going to punch the next hole. It doesn't really matter which wing side goes on first as long as that bottom flap ends up on top. And then just screw the grommets together to secure those layers. Finally, fold over the top flap of the bag and see where it falls over top of that grommet. Mark and punch. This time, adjust the hole punch to a bigger size so that it will fit over top of that grommet now. Grab your cutting mat or scissors and make a tiny slit at the bottom of that hole you just made so that it fits easier over that nub. And there you have it, your envelope bag is good to go. If you wanted a stiffer bag with more structure, just buy a heavier leather, but keep in mind you'll need longer grommet pieces to be able to punch through all those layers. To my finished piece off camera, I added an extra grommet underneath the functioning one that holds the bag shut as an embellishment. If you end up making these bags, please tag us on Instagram at we are full stop kitty gang. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIYs. Thanks gang. Bye.